Look at all of these handsome, smiling Japanese men. The one I'm sure you guys all recognize is this guy, Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Super Smash Bros. This dude loves Kirby. He's like his baby in a way. And even outside of mainline Kirby titles, other games with Sakurai's involvement still show some preference toward the little guy. For example, in Ultimate, the sole survivor of World of Light's opening cutscene, and your only choice of character starting out, is Kirby. Similarly, in Brawl's Subspace Emissary, that game's story mode, your first option of playable character is between Mario and Kirby. In the original Super Smash Bros., Kirby is widely considered one of the best characters in the game, though this one is likely coincidental. And finally, in Melee, at the center of the game's completed roster sits Kirby. Unlike in Smash 64 though, in Melee, Kirby is considered one of the worst characters in the entire game. A game where characters have non-functioning throws, erroneously programmed hitboxes, hurt boxes on their ties, and this move. Kirby is so bad that he's been voted the worst character in the game on two separate occasions. Kirby is so terrible that not even the laundry list of buffs given to him from NTSC to PAL could save him from being ranked nearly dead last on three different European tier lists. Kirby is so abysmally shit that two of his most acclaimed wins across 20 years of Melee history are half-conscious, piss-drunk Armada playing a tertiary character and the Crimson Blur. And that's it! It's no secret Kirby sucks. Big time. Let's talk about why. I think it's important to begin by saying that while Kirby is very terrible, he's quite functional as a character, with fewer melee-isms than you'd probably expect. Instead of any combination of jank holding him back, he's terrible more so because he lacks almost every attribute that makes a good or even half-decent character in Melee. Let's compare Kirby to Jigglypuff, for example, a character you might look at and be tempted to question how it's possible that Puff, who is so similar to Kirby, is on the opposite end of the tier list. Well, their similarities are pretty superficial. Both Kirby and Jigglypuff have six jumps, but Jigglypuff, who has the most aerial drift in the game, is nearly twice as fast as Kirby in the air, aiding in her ability to carry opponents off stage with repeated aerials, easily and quickly go out for edge guards, and recover. Kirby, on the other hand, struggles to replicate Jigglypuff's back and forward air strings, can edge guard well but not nearly as well as Puff, and has significantly worse recovery, in part due to the aforementioned drift difference, but also due to lacking pound, a move that allows Puff to virtually always recover from hits off the side that don't outright kill her. Kirby, however, is probably fucked if hit toward the blast zone more than once when being edgeguarded, which is pretty average among Melee's cast. Like Puff, though, Kirby is among the lightest and floatiest characters in Melee, and can be killed extremely early. Unlike Puff, Kirby can't easily kill opponents extremely early to kind of offset that. Kirby also lacks something most top tiers or even okay characters have, good grabs. While down throw and up throw can lead to some extremely niche situational strings, like down throw tech chases on platforms and down throw into pray you read your opponent correctly, back and forward throw are infamously horrible. You might already know them as the only two throws in the game that can be escaped during their throw animations, but you might not know how modest the mashing can be. Going from a leisurely one input from 0 to 11% to escape, to a harder but still possible actual mash at around 100. With these two throws kind of shit, the nearly universal ability to throw an opponent off stage and go for a gimp is kind of taken away from Kirby. This also makes going for Kirby side at low percent unwise. Even disregarding these two, with his other throws you have to read your opponent to get a follow-up off of, 
Kirby has an entire aspect of his character almost nullified. An aspect of his game that's massively important in Melee. Compare this to the top tiers, mid tiers, or even other low tiers. Throw follow-ups are a huge part of punishes and kill confirms, and Kirby is just shafted. Kirby's aerials are pretty lackluster as well. In fact, his neutral air is broken, neutered by a programming error, leaving its first and strongest hitbox inaccessible, a mistake originating from Smash 64 that just wasn't ever fixed. His aerials are also deceptively short range. You may expect Kirby's back air, a move so similar in appearance to Puff's, to be a long, ridiculous hitbox as well. Instead, it doesn't even extend past his foot. You may also expect his neutral air, a move in which Kirby spins around, to have hitboxes surround his limbs. You know, the parts he would be hitting you with. But neutral air is just a single bubble barely extending past Kirby's body. His up air and forward air are similarly small, although not nearly as egregiously. It's not all bad, though. Forward air can sometimes be used to combo into itself on floatier characters. Up air is a pretty slow but very powerful kill move on paper, with more knockback than Falcon's knee. Let's let's see what he's fucking. Look at this guy. Look at him go. The up air sends him across the, the stage. The up air's a better Does knee, a dude. Unfortunately, it sends at a higher angle, making it actually kill off the sides later than knee. Kirby's up air also isn't attached to Falcon, which is pretty important. Back air is extremely good for edge guarding and as a kill move, plus is pretty quick. Legit a pretty good move, other than its range. Down air is also quite good, a meteor spike great for edge guarding, but is also one of the slowest aerials in the game. With such poor range, low airspeed, low ground speed, terrible grabs, and no projectile, other than his up specials, which isn't ever really applicable in neutral. Kirby also has an incredibly difficult time approaching, easily walled out with aerials or kept at range by projectiles, or even just shielded on. Given the small miracle that Kirby actually gets in, Kirby's poor speed almost ensures it's a pretty quick one or two hit reward. Even on fast fallers like Fox, Falco, and Falcon, who are combo food for much of the cast. Another part of this is because Kirby's aerials aren't really conducive to any meaningful combos, for the most part being either too laggy or sending too far away for Kirby to follow up given his low speed, leaving the most common punish when connecting up tilt as up tilt into single aerial. His grabs, as I mentioned, are difficult to land and probably won't yield much reward either. All of this means Kirby's damage is racked up by a plethora of neutral exchanges rather than combos like the majority of the cast. And because Kirby's neutral is so shit, he'll be doing a lot of work before he gets the opportunity to actually take a stock. Conversely, about as well a character can combo light and floaty characters like Mr. Game & Watch and Puff, they can combo Kirby. Which is to say, probably more than enough to solidly outpunish him. Frenzy. Keep that symbol for the edit. Kirby's smash attacks aren't very good either. Forward smash is notably wimpy. Up smash is about as strong as Fox's for one frame. And that one frame's hitbox looks like this. It also takes nearly twice as long to come out, and has an embarrassing sour spot that's easier to connect with. Down Smash is about average in knockback, but sends up with its inward hitboxes and horizontally with its outer ones, making it unreliable sometimes. Perhaps the best part of Kirby's kit are his tilts. Not only because up tilt is so essential to Kirby's approach and punish, but because down tilt and forward tilt are quick and actually have decent range. Down tilt is a good get off me move, is a nice poke, and an effective edge guarding tool. Kirby's F tilt is much the same. It's only right that we end this by discussing Kirby's most iconic moves, and it's fitting that they're also terrible. His specials. Kirby's side B has a very strong sweet spot, 
but this sweet spot is difficult to hit, and the sour spot is horrible. Also, the move takes like 80 years to come out. The aerial version of this move has some fringe combo uses upon landing with it, but other than that is just extremely weak and laggy. I mean, just look at this. Kirby's up B is a decent vertical recovery move, but is incredibly predictable and gets next to no horizontal distance. Down B is slow, risky, and surprisingly weak. Struggling to kill opponents past even 100% on small stages like Yoshi's. You're unable to be hit while in these forms, but you can be grabbed. However, Kirby's on a timer to come out, and he's so slow doing it that landing with this move is almost a guaranteed punish of any kind anyway. You'll most commonly see Kirby mains use this as a shitty version of Yoshi or Bowser's down B. Neutral B, Inhale, is actually pretty useful, but not for the reason you might think. With the exception of Falco, who has potential to be embarrassed when Kirby has his lasers, most Kirbys choose to eschew completing this move and taking their opponent's powers, instead opting to spit them out off stage, or go for Kirby's inhale cheese on opponents not being careful enough near the ledge. Oh, he's doing it right now! He's oh dead. my! He's <laughs> dead. Ooh, the controller. Yeah. That's the Chicago. And since I don't have anywhere else to put this, we'll just call Kirby's dash attack a very special move. Impossible to combo with, unless you hit your opponent with the very, very end of it, which isn't gonna happen. Incredibly slow and committal, no chance of ever killing, easily punished, and it's the only dash attack you can run off ledges with. Without a doubt, one of the worst moves in the entire game. Despite all the flaws shown here, some people still just like playing Kirby. Or like Kirby so much as a character, they just tough it out. They like finding tiny optimizations and tricks to make their character just a little less bad. And I respect that. If you like the character, you're not concerned with ever winning big tournaments, and you don't want to be Spacey main number 10,000, why not take your bets becoming a low tier legend? because everyone on Slippy immediately quits? Well, joke's on them. The bar's lower for you. No offense. Because no one's gonna remember another mid-level top tier player, but everyone in the Melee community is gonna remember when the Crimson Blur lost to Moon Knight, the Kirby. Or when Armada, inebriated, playing Sheik and Pichu, lost to Sea Rabbit, the Kirby. Big thanks to Corrit, Cooper C, Dizzy, Dubs Rewatcher, Garlic, GR Smash, Harpo Dog, I don't even play Melee, I'm the Real Slayer, John, John B, Josiah B, Catharg, Lamb's Respite, Lenny M, Little, Lonely Rolling Egg, LRC Napkin, Matthew B, Moa, Pierce H, P Jiggles, PM Casey, Rogue DNW, Sega Monkey, Self Die Man, Shep Have You Tried Meditation, Soleil Suyon, Storm, The Big Bino, Turn Down for Walt, Wiver and Yashichi. 